Welcome to the Republic Forum. I'm Jeff. And I'm Harry. And it's another Thursday, and it's a beautiful day outside. And, uh, hey, listen, we got a lot of talk, uh, a lot of stuff to talk about. The inflation is getting better. It's up to 9.1. How high are we going to go? Well, this is uh, according to uh, this guy Joe Biden and uh, Lamont. They love the number. It's just it's it's a foretells the future. It's great. They talk about the future. Now, what the future might either be higher or lower. So if it's lower, they're going to say, see, we reached a peak now. Oh, it's going to be. OK, well, you know, they're spinning it. That is a great number. Well, you know, and it's a lot like our town officials. The higher the mill rate, the yeah. better the number. Yep. You know, there's something wrong with all these, you know, people that they, they like these high numbers. Now, I happen to like high numbers, but I like the high number in my bank account. Yes, and I'm you, sure you, you do. You know, not the numbers that are going out. I don't like the high prices at the grocery store. Well, you don't have any checking accounts. All your checking accounts, are they covered by the uh, no. federal government? No, you don't. No, I'd have to have too many. Too many. Too, too many. big, too many. <laughs> I'd have to That's have too many. What? What? They they stop at two fifty or three hundred thousand. Two fifty. Maybe yeah. they raise it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'd have to, I'd have to well, have we want we want to talk about Lamont and what he's doing. You know, I I mentioned here. I do want to talk about blight because I brought in the ordinance, the blight ordinance. You did. I you get okay. But um, is is that why there's a fence up now around the? No, I, don't, I have no idea. But I noticed that the forest, you know, the the uh, Foster building, uh, other than maybe a few more pieces of false concrete falling off, there's been real. No work on it. Well, you got, you know, Harry, you got to spend a little more time. If you watch it long enough, you'll see the two guys moving around in there, and one of them's carrying a hammer. Well, I, I think, you know, this goes back to it. I got to name the names Jim Rivers and Matt Vertefe. You got the Foster Building, you got the Hurley Building, you've got my favorite house on uh, Corner of Prospect and uh, Wyndham. Oh, that's a single family residence. I don't totally care what I, I totally don't care different. if it's a single family or it's a home for nuns. It's not, okay? <laughs> The thing is, we'll a, none the of that thing here. is a, it's a piece of crap. Okay, <laughs> and then you got the Nathan Hill and you got the Hotel Hooker. Well, wait and a second, these guys, you forgot a building. What? The, the flying carpet building, the pink building. Oh yeah, but at least that got, has a, no roof. Yeah, no roof on there yet. No, it fell in. Oh, it fell in. It fell in. <laughs> it fell in a while ago. It, well, it's kind of like you know the Tinson lot. And they got two hundred fifty grand for that, didn't they? For that, that's something that ridiculous. Yeah, boy, well, you know, unless they do something, this this. This is what makes me sick. These guys get big salaries, and they do. They make big salaries. Oh, yeah. But they don't know how to do anything out of the box. They don't know how to solve a problem. It's easy to get state money and give it out, and they're always looking to develop, you know, a, a renovate a building with uh, retail on the bottom and apartments up above. With okay. your tax money. Yep. But, you, you see, you're, you're missing the point here, Harry. All those people that you mentioned... By not doing anything, they have job security. Right. And that was something I mentioned, you know, last show, that these people should be voted out of office or there should be a public lawsuit, class action, that they don't do their job. They should be removed from their jobs. They should lose their pensions for not, you know, especially when it comes to public safety. Yeah, well, okay, let's get Rivers is not, a, that's not, elect, that is not an elected position. Correct. Okay. Vertiphase is not an elected position. Correct. Okay. And there's no accountability for the bureaucrats. And they, Willimantic, with all the assets that Willimantic has, it could be a nice, a it, could, it could be a nice town. <laughs> but they refuse to do it. They have their council meetings and they talk about a bunch of BS. They don't do the work that should be done. I don't, and they're afraid. You know, and they're going to say it costs too much money. And there's ways to do this. I, I brought in a blight ordinance just to go over a couple of things here. Um, they all qualify. For being in, in uh, okay, what's the word I'm looking for? But they're not following the blight ordinance, okay? They are uh, they're continuing nuisance, contributed to the decline of neighborhoods, they have a de deleterious effect upon residential and commercial properties, and, uh, and it affects the economic well being of the town and is inimical to health, safety, and welfare. They wrote this thing. Now, if they don't want to enforce this ordinance, why should they enforce not paying taxes? Well, it's true, but you know, there's something here that you um, have overlooked or missed, or oh, you didn't mention, read. Don't mention the word constitution. No, no, no. I'm not mentioning the word constitution here, Anya. Okay, but a lot of these the particular buildings and what you're talking about fall under the discretion of the director of code enforcement, Mr. Matt Vertifi. Yes. So he gets to exercise 
discretion on which buildings he kind of lets float and which buildings no. he doesn't. Well, if you want to go through code enforcement and look at what's in what's uh, uh, not up to code, any one of these buildings we're talking about. Oh no! Okay, no, there's, there's some of them are serious safety yeah. concerns. Yeah, and so it's ridiculous. Okay, and just, just another thing: main, well maintained building, no broken windows or boarded windows or doors, excessively peeling paint, <laughs> collapsing or missing walls, roofs or floors. Now, the missing siding, right? all of these qualify. And why won't they do anything about it? You know, if, and the thing is, if they can send them a notice that they want these buildings brought up to speed quickly. Now, of course, they're not going to do it, but they have 10 days to respond. If they don't respond, now you can start finding them. You can place liens on them, and eventually you can put them up for sale. And if the, the town could, forget developing them, raise them. Oh, no, them. we said they should be raised, okay. you know, yeah. and, and that means knock down. Knock down. And then then you'll find somebody that wants to buy that uh, piece they of can property. Lot. Absolutely. Okay. That's correct. And that's how you develop it, not by trying to redo these. And too bad Gene Despay's got to learn that, okay? Well, we've but, been talking about that for I years. I know we and, talked about that. And, and, and that slows down the development. Yeah, well, it really does. It really does. And the thing is, they've got to do it. Raise the buildings. You're not going to get these guys to put the money in to develop them. And... It's time to change. I mean, how long do they really want to wait? Does Vertefe think he's going to live to 150 and Rivers Rivers will move on to some other town? Well, and Vertefe will retire. Yeah. You know, and, and we'll probably still have the mess. But, you know, let's, let's talk about the Hurley and Murray building because there's a fence up around it. Now, they, you know, and you have uh, my paperwork on it. They got about 200, uh, 2 million, 200 and what? About 2 million something. Uh, 2 million something to... Um, do that building. It's going to be over here. Uh, two $2,570,000 $2, uh, state grants uh, to redo that building. It's a non-profit. Okay. And this goes all the way back. This is four years ago when that money came through. And uh, so, you know, it took four years for it actually to get here and uh, start doing things. And I know I've got dates here on some of this paperwork. But... Um, you know, and, and they're going to put 20 apartments in the in it. Uh, always. They're going to always put apartments. Yep. And they're going to be in, it says, 20 units will be reserved as affordable housing. Yep. So, you know, what's affordable? Is it going to be below market? So th that's affordable. Okay. And uh, let's see. A you had uh, $4.8 million go to the... Uh, Willamack Housing Authority to yeah, rehab Memorial all Drive, that. Memorial, Memorial Drive, Drive and big, all that. Big renovation of that. And that's a, that's a good looking renovation. That improved no, a they, lot of they, there. they did a, a nice job over there, but you know, a lot of people over there pay very, very little to live there. A lot of people pay very, very little taxes, okay? And you can't increase the property values the way the, the city is being handled right now. Well, we talked about um, inflation. And the more even the state spends on things like this, and the more tax dollars they take out from us, it's it's just like uh, Biden giving away all this money. They're just taking it from us to give it away, causing inflation on a on a local and a state level too. And it's, old, it's the old the old uh, adage, you know. Well, we're not paying for it. The state's paying for it. Oh, we are the state. Yeah. People can't realize that. You know, right. I mean, just he, but. What does it take to change this? Now, let me ask you a question. You've been involved in this t politics in town. Who's responsible to getting Rivers to do his job for getting Matt uh, Vertefe to do his job? It Maybe would be the t t town council. Town council. Town council. And who's the leader there? Uh, our illustrious mayor. Our mayor, Tom but DeVivo. The, but the mayor is only a uh, ceremonial Figure. position. Is he getting paid at all? So uh, probably a slight He used to get five of, grand. I remember he when probably he gets that or but, eight with but, inflation. But if he's the mayor, do something, Tom. You've got, you know enough, you've got to pull some strings. You've got to he's get something done. He's only the mayor. Huh? He's only the mayor. He's nobody. He's then a puppet. He doesn't have the any The town power. council's got to do it. Right. Okay. But the, the only way they're going to ha have any power is to threaten to fire these people. Or, or find them for not doing their job or remove them or write them up for this, yeah, that, or the everybody other. Everybody talks about And they're not going to do it. Well, everybody talks about accountability. You yeah, yeah but they'll talk about it, but they won't do anything well, if, about it. as an example, we're on the radio right now. Let's say Matt screws up something today on a uh, board. What would happen to him? I'd walk over there and smack him. <laughs> okay. I'd pull his paycheck at the end so of the night. So there's an example of accountability. Yeah. I mean, but something's got to be done. I, I, I just, just, 
Well, you know, here, let's go back. You know, we're going back in time here quite a ways. Uh, we'll go back to a, uh, let's see if I can get this, uh, June 1. Okay, now I find a year here somewhere. I'm not going to come up with the year for you. Uh, June, June 8th, I'm going back a ways. But uh, there, the, the uh, nonprofit that owns the Hurley Murray building that took that over wanted tax abatements. Now, you know, we've watched our property taxes go up year after year, year after, after year. year. After year. Okay. Now, in the years one and two, taxes estimated to be paid in the current unrehabilitated state, which will be approximately $5,300. And I pay $7,000 on my okay. house. Okay. In the third year, they'll pay $8,000. Fourth year, $12,000. Fifth year, sixteen. i I'd really like to know if they're paying that. Or are they still at the $5,300? Well, this way, they, every deal they write, they write it like this, you know. The, oh, yeah. Uh, increasing incrementally right. in the taxes, you know, and they don't default. Why hasn't that been developed? Let me ask that right. question. Well, Why? well, the other thing, too, is even when it's done, they're only going to pay $1,000 per unit. Okay, so I think that's great. I only want to be charged $1,000 per unit. For taxes. For taxes. So if they have okay, 20 units. Because that would lower my taxes. Yeah. So if they have 20 units, they pay 20 grand. They pay 20 grand. Okay. Or a thousand dollars a unit. Why hasn't that building been developed? Well, I, I've got a funny feeling they haven't got all the money, or the money's they been probably stopped. never had it from the beginning. Right. Well, that's that's probably true. Well, it, why it, okay. the state awarded it, but the state didn't write the checks or deposit the money. Why hasn't the Foster Building been finished? The right here, next right here. to us. Well, this that's a place. private developer. Yes. Yeah. Well, why hasn't it been finished? Uh, probably for lack of money, lack of time, and uh, well, why hasn't a hooker been done? Well, the hooker, from what I can know about the hooker, uh, there's all kinds of state stuff involved with the hooker to knock it down because the hooker they want to take down. All right, so they really have to be able to shut Main Street down. So what? Well, it, it's state well, permits. It's a state. Oh, come on. But yeah, that was only Willow Man. He can't shut its Main Street down to do some construction. Well, right. Yeah. But we can close it for the you could use third Thursday. Yeah, exactly. You can close the Thursday. You could use Prospect Street. You, you can, can use, use River Drive, Valley Street. There's plenty of stuff. That's right. That can't be a reason. I think you're no. It's a re it's a reason. That might be misinformation. No, it's not misinformation. <laughs> Come on, Matt and John. This, this guy <laughs> come rivers. on, man. No, it's come no. on, man. I mean, ridiculous. It's <laughs> absolutely know? ridiculous. And what you know, what does it take? I don't know what the, what it takes to get these. Do we have to get up there and and uh, march, protest? Well, you probably nonviolently, by the way. Oh yeah, you, you know, you'd, I guess you'd have to go do it at their houses. You'd have to get yeah. groups of people to go out and stand in the street. You gotta be quiet. You could hold signs. But if they go to like uh, the Main Street Cafe or uh, oh yeah, Applebee's, we can yeah, protest yeah, yeah. and I, drive I guess, them out. Yeah, you know, I don't want to really do that to a local business, you know, because it hurts the rest of the patrons. But you could be out in the parking lot holding signs okay. when they walk out, or when they walk in, you. You know, but stop. Don't don't bother the patrons. I mean, you know, they're struggling. Well, don't we have, like, you know, you talk about we have activists in this town, in this city, that want these done. Like, the guys on the Wyndham's, they could care less. Keep people, Absolutely. keep the, Will the Willimantic people out of here, okay? No, of and course. for years, they've, they've lived off of Willimantic. And they can argue all they want, but it's a fact. And now, we have a garden club. Yes. They're trying to here they're bending over backwards, plant trees, pollinate. Okay, they accuse me of not being a pollinator, by the way, because yeah. I cut some trees down. Yeah. Oh, but well. uh, either that, or they fall on my house. Right? And uh, but they they try to beautify the town. And how do they let these guys get away with this? You would well, think they'd it, be up in arms. They're, they're, and they're all activists. Those are the people that would protest. Well, the, the, Harry, you, you got to remember these people go to the town. The, the activists with their hat in their hand asking the town for money and permits and they're not going to do anything that's going to rock the boat so that they can't do what they want to do. They're not going to protest against the town when the town's kind of, it's kind of like biting the hand that feeds you. Yeah, well, you okay. Know, you've, got, you've got to make it uncomfortable for the people in the town, on the town council. You've got to make it uncomfortable for oh, them. Oh, I, believe me, I understand that. So why don't we right now decide, Jeff, that you will take the month of July and August to protest in person. <laughs> okay. The, and then after that, it'll be Matt mm -hmm. for September and October. What happened to you? Well, you I'll, I'll be watching. You'll be watching. You're retired. You <laughs> got time. I still get up and go oh, to work God. every morning. Well, I don't have to. I'm sitting on my butt. <laughs> down here for the show. 
And the other thing, talk about the, the, the state. There's a good, and the Chronicle, finally, finally the Chronicle has a rational uh, column by this guy, uh, Gary, A Gary Abernathy. A Abernathy. Yeah. And read it about the January 6th commission. Oh, what did that go? summarizes it. It's exactly what the truth is. And again, we are being treated like... Uh, uh, Mindless? Yeah, we're just, we're just being treated to a joke. It's a joke. That's a joke. The, what the Democrats are doing to us, and I firmly believe this, I firmly believe this. I've talked to many Democrats, many liberals, many progressives on this. And they feel their position is absolutely correct. And you can't really get a discussion going with them. You know, you try to bring oh, up no, stuff. Oh, no, no, no. They're going to shut you down. They, they shut you right down. Yeah, you're a racist. They, you're a homophobic. Yeah, yeah. You're a... Uh, you transphobic. You're yeah, everything. whatever it is. Okay. You got a phobic somewhere. But we are moving. And I, and I, you know, this guy, Ron Klein, who was Biden's chief of staff, and this other guy, uh, I forget the guy who's his economic senior advisor, they criticize for the lousy job they're doing. I think they're doing an excellent job in turning this country into a socialist, Marxist, communist well, that, country. That is the... Uh, okay, that's uh, their plan. Well, absolutely. And they are right on target. they right look on target. They, look at how they're educating the kids yeah. or not educating yep. the kids today. That was part of their plan from, from 30, 40 years ago to oh, get absolutely. into schools. They got into the colleges. Now they're going into the kids in preschool. Yeah, they're not so stupid, are they? No, they're doing a great job. Right. Okay. They drive the price of gas. You try to... You you, you, what you do is you impoverish the nation. Yes. Okay. Through high inflation. Well, they're infl impoverishing the world, really. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's the whole world. You, you know, if you look outside the box, the little United States here, you've got all kinds of problems all over the world. You're yeah. getting prime ministers shot, uh, presidents. Uh, you, you got know. Sri Lanka going bankrupt because yeah. they green because they try to follow the Green Deal. Yeah, you can't do that. Ghana. It's almost bankrupt. The yeah. Netherlands has got problems, you know, because they're trying to use do away with fr nitrogen fertilizers, yeah. using oh, different. Uh, the Netherlands, where they want yeah. to tax cows, yeah. flagellants. Yeah, you know, it's incredible. The, so, uh, it, it's true, but you know, I really think that the Green New Deal is very important. I believe in supporting the economy, and not the economy, but the ec ecology. You know, and. and Definitely uh, worried about the planet. So I really propose that um, Eversource just shut the electricity off three days a week. You could save a lot. Yeah. You, that would save a lot to do a lot of things yeah, here. Yeah, my bike is fine-tuned. It's still on a, I, And I don't have any toe straps well, on it. And now you're not sitting on your butt. You're no. pedaling it. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I took my toe straps off because you know the way Biden yeah, fell? Yeah. If you've ever been a biker and you have toe straps on... Yeah. And you're not, and you can't get your feet out of the uh, off the pedal. That's what happens. You sit, you're stationary, and you got no choice but to fall over to your side. <laughs> Very embarrassing. I've been with people. You know, they stop at a light in the middle of traffic, and they just fall over like the the guy in the old laughing. Yeah. The yeah. Oh over. yeah, with the, uh, the yeah. little bicycle there. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. yep. But, uh, weebles wobbles, and they do fall down. But yeah. you know the thing is with the Green Deal, these guys were uh, uh, they say they're they're radical, idealists. And they decided to do this green do nail. They wanted to do it all in one year. No, you can't. Okay. You can't. You got to do it gradually and so forth. But they're going to bankrupt countries, which they have done. Yes. And I really believe we are moving towards socialism. We are. Well, we're, we're there. The people idea. say, well, we already are. You have Social Security. No, that's not what I'm talking that's about. Not socialism yeah. the no. way they want. We're not. T we're talking Venezuela. We're talking Cuba. This is where they're bringing us. And they're doing it. And they're sort of, to me, they're doing a great job. Bernie Sanders must be sitting back. He's, oh, he's laughing. Now, he wants to run for president. Oh, he's yeah. not too old. They're talking about Biden, who is 79. Bernie Sanders is what? 80-something. 80 80, 84? Yeah, I was going to say three, so, but he's up there. So so, so what, what about your social score? What do you know about social scores? Social score? Yeah. Uh, social scores. Well, you know how they're trying to get rid of cash. You know, there's a movement to get rid of cash and use credit cards. And this way, they know exactly what you're spending oh, oh, yeah, your yeah, money yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, they know yeah. where you're going. And by watching all this, they come up with a score for you as an individual. Yeah. Now, depending on where your score is, and this is in China already, they're using it, you might not be allowed to have children. Yeah. If your sco sco social score now, is it, where they it, want it. Is this where they were going to track $600 worth of expenditures in your... Uh, your oh, yeah. You, you know, now, now it's, uh, I think it's $2,000. They raised it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they did. But who came up with that idea? You know, think about it. It's, it's, it's the part. socialists. It's all part of monitoring what you do, how much you put in, where your money's going. I mean, you know, uh, for a lot of people out there, the barter system's starting to come alive in a well again. Yeah. Because uh, for one reason, people just don't have the money anymore. 
So we're like little lambs being led to slaughter here, okay? It's well, just lemmings a, off the cliff. Yeah, you know, really. And and the thing is, they're going to spin it again because gas has gone down in the last week. Oh yeah, it it's has. down to four oh four at Chucky's in a corner yep. for yep. cash, you know, four fourteen or fifteen for with, credit card with credit. And that's going down because the price of oil is going down. The price of oil is going down because they have had less demand because right. the price of gas was too high, which they wanted to have less people drive. You know, well, but it, it's working. It's working. But again, these guys. They don't understand where electricity comes from. They think that, well, you just turn on a switch or plug into an outlet, and then it's there. They don't realize that it may have a coal-fired plant that produces electricity. Or nuclear. Okay. Or, or nuclear. Or natural gas. And now, if you really want to be a conspiracy theorist, how about the fact that New York, a couple of days ago, came out with this nuclear warning ad. It was televised in New York City on how to prepare for a nuclear attack. Did you see that at all? Uh, that, you know, I heard something about that. Yeah, oh, that. yeah. And it's an ad. Public, it was a public service announcement. And they had this young girl telling about, look, at if, you, if there's a nuclear attack, go immediately to your house, do this, change your clothes, blah, 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 do all that. If and, you live in New York City and there's a nuclear attack, find a better looking butt in front of you and take advantage because you ain't getting nowhere. You got 23 minutes from the launch. It was 15, they said. Well, okay. But, okay, but now... Okay, maybe it's an off... Hey, to be a conspiracy theorist, some. at the same time, the state of, Nat of New Hampshire re uh, released the sirens, the nuclear oh, warning well, sirens. That was a mistake. It, yeah, the, I mean, it, that was at the power plant. Now, regardless, but that happened at the same time as the public service announcement was given in New York City. Maybe they're trying to tell us something. Uh, I don't think I so. I don't think so. Of course, I'm not no. making I believe it. I'm not conspiring. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to be a conspiracy theorist, you could build that up. Matt's thinking of making it a theory. Matt's <laughs> no, but hey, listen, while we're trying to turn spin this into a conspiracy, we got to go pay our bills. So we'll be right back. Oh, uh, going along with my idea of turning the electricity off three days away. Great have, idea, by the way. Have, have an Eversource do it. I think we should do it Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Those three days, because, it would, you know, most people aren't working on those weekends. You know, on the weekends, it would uh, kind of require people to spend time with family, where they yep. could actually sit and communicate with each other. Moms and dads could, you know, uh, uh, talk with their kids about all these raging social issues that are going on, whether you're a he, she, it, that, way, whatever it is, you know. Uh, the other thing, too, is, you know, they could... Pay, Possibly walk out in the yard and do a little gardening, you know, help with... Well, the, the, you got to watch out. You can't use... You got to use organic fertilizer and so forth. Well, they, hey, listen, but, you, you know what? You just I think it's a great idea. You know grow much, a tomato. Grow pot plants. Just think how much, you can do that. The carbon emissions, which would be reduced. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It'd be well, huge. huge. Eversource, is that part of... How much is that in nuclear? Uh, not all that much, I don't believe. So gas. I know it's gas. A lot of, a lot of it's... Well, that's another great idea. So mm -hmm. I'm surprised they haven't implemented that. Maybe they will. Maybe somebody Well, you know, you've got right some now. hydro coming out of Canada. You know, it's all these different suppliers. But, you know, Eversource is a distributor. So, you know, now, one, once again... Uh, there's another... You know, why not? They, why not give the greenies a taste of what they're in for early? I mean, they would what love kind of, it. They would well, love it. it that's bicycle great. into what well, it can't go to town. The stores would be closed. But you know, it's great. It's a great. Well, idea. I think they should be bicycling now. Well, when they, can we? Wait a minute now. When can we protest at the town council? What days would we be able to do that? Well, I think it's Tuesday nights when well, they're there. Check it out. You've got or, or, or Monday through. Wait a second here. Don't you go down that road? No, you're you've got July and August. Mm -hmm. Matt's got September and October. Well, we'll see how yeah. it works. <laughs> <laughs> you notice who's missing from all this. You know, I, I love that. People point directions and tell you, you know, you, now he sounds like the town councilor. No, no, no. I, you I, ought I, to do this, no, and you I, ought to do I, that, I, and I, but I'm not showing well, up. Well, here's what I'm worried about. I'm not going to enforce it either. What, sure, if you're, they don't, they you're don't a enforce, senior citizen. Hey, they come out and push you. you got a complaint. They don't enforce anything. I want to know, as an example, they have, a, they have an ordinance on removing snow off the sidewalks. Oh, no, no, no. They don't. Okay, they, they don't. No, they do, but they don't. Yeah, nobody they don't enforce it. No, I, nobody enforces it. So do you pick, this is what the Democrats do. They pick the laws that they want to enforce. Oh, absolutely. And get, and here's a perfect example. So how can anybody pay a fine for not shoveling well, their snow or having a dilapidated building? How is it, they, they can't. Own, they can't. 
Right. Because all you'd have to do is go to court and start taking pictures of buildings yeah. around town. I mean, and if there aren't fines and it's not on file and people haven't paid them, they're going to lose. And that's why I say these people should be, you know, not brought up on charges, but they should be removed from office. They should be. They should be embarrassed. They should be embarrassed. Well, so you, well, go you can't embarrass people. So, like well, you got to embarrass. I mean, I would think that Tom DeVivo would take it to heart, okay? Uh, Tommy doesn't. Tommy, you know, Tommy is thrilled to death. To, to support the soup kitchen and he, he you know the tent cities and all this stuff he thinks we're doing a wonderful job trying to help the homeless and and god bless him you know we are we're doing a but he's wonderful sensitive, enough, job. sensitive enough and we got to maybe uh, pick it in front of his house Tom's house? Well, you could. You, I'll you, do you that. You could do him and okay, you do could that. do that and Susan's both at the, both same, the same time. Both at the same time. Well, yeah. they're side by side. Yes, that's you know, a good idea. Um, I'll do that. Sapatico, the... is that the word they yeah. use? I'll do that in the fall. You do that in the fall. Yeah. Before you fall down or are you going to do no, it standing No, I mean, up? you know, because, you know, and I want to make sure we had photographers fall down. <laughs> I fell down a couple weeks ago. Last you did. Friday. You couldn't get your foot I out of the I tripped over a, a, a T marker and... Uh, it wasn't there. It was they never have them there? But it was there for a special tournament, and I didn't know it was there. And I tripped over it, fell down onto my chest, and the guys that were playing behind me thought it was a, uh, I had a heart attack or a uh, stroke. No. Yeah. So, they just kept playing, and they were going to call nine one one and say you can find a body back up on a sixteen. Yeah, well, you usually wait. Somebody about else half came hour. along and picked me up, which was <laughs> that was pretty good. But I want to know. Tell me what. How do we... Inf See, I've got like OnStar. If I go down now, it automatically dials 911. Yeah, but you're in a car. <laughs> no, no, no. I have it on your... You your right there. It, oh. If I drop my phone, it hits the ground too hard. It wants to dial 911 right Well, away. I should look at something like that. And that trouble is you get older, you know, you have You can get that problems. life alert thing, you know. Yeah. Well, you got balance problems. So if I fall and I can't get up. So if I'm picketing, I'm going to have to watch how I... How well, I we'll get you a walker. I've got a walker. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, then you bring a chair. I'll be all set. Bring a chair. On roll. The, 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 the yeah, you could put back a, and wheels on it. Well, I, I wish maybe the town council can tell us which laws. They're all. It's a Democrat controlled they, town they're, council. They're not going to say anything. No, they got to tell us which laws you can enforce. They're going to enforce. Which ones are, is it up to the council or is it up to the police department? Who, well, who? well, they're, they're, now you got different laws. OK, it, the, the laws that are, you know, uh, blight and things like that aren't up to the police department. It's up to the enforce. OK, that's criminal. The police are criminal, Pol but police okay. are criminal. But the blight enforcement, that's a uh, it's kind of a civil social responsibility. Deal. Yeah, civil yeah. Thing. So, well, I like to know what we can follow, what we can do. But if I ever find anybody like, you know. I walk a lot through town and there's a lot of guys that uh, don't shovel their walks. And there's and a lot. This of, is true. You know, a lot of guys don't. And so when you think about the kids that walk to school, right? you know, they got to walk out in the street. They just have to. And, uh, I, and the majority, the vast majority of people try to do. No, they do. Know. They do. I mean, you know, for me, it's a pet peeve doing the same. Yeah, of course, you're a landlord. Like you yeah. Know. I mean, we always get out there early. Our walks are done. Yeah. Plus, I, I'm, I've got houses right on the route to the school. So I want them. Yeah. Open and clean for yeah. the kids. But there's a lot of guys that don't. And yeah, they're, they're don't probably absentee the landlords, whatever it is. Well, they could, yeah. you know, they, they could even live there and just don't get up that early. Yeah. Get, oh, they they give you 24 hours to Yeah, get but it a lot done. of them aren't done at all. Well, they're okay. not done at all. That's okay. just true. You have to walk this in the true. street. Or, yeah, so or they've true. got a path that's only, you know, 12 inches yeah, wide. Yeah, you got to skip through it. Right. One and, foot in front of the other. And, you know, there there is an actual width that they want it shoveled to, and I believe it's 24 inches. Yeah. You know, so uh, so they don't follow that. You don't have to follow that one. No. Uh, and you don't, noise. How about noise? There's an well, ordinance well, on noise. Yeah, nah. Forget the noise. Forget, you don't but follow. you know, it, 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 that that requires the fire to uh, the police department to catch them and enforce that. And um, the, the other thing too is, what about mowing lawns? You know, because you can let your lawn go and say, well, I'm letting it go back to the, you know, natural state. I'm, you know, preserving the environment. I'm not running my gasoline or electric but power. That's in a, lawn but that's mower. in the blight ordinance. They say lawn. Well, yeah, but lawns. you can go to a natural lawn. That's all, also mentioned, you know, uh, in places where there are people that have a natural landscape and you can let it revert to that if that's what got you people so up, got people in my neighborhood who have done that. But how about yes. mowing your lawn at 3 o'clock in the morning? Can you do that? If it's uh, an electric lawnmower, you no, probably No, forget could. the electric lawnmower, a gas heater, a gas-powered <laughs> mower that sort, no, of, somebody sort might, of skips. Somebody might kind of come out and throw a can at you or something, you know. Oh, if they're up. If they're, well, I think you're going to wake them up. And then they have an ordinance about putting out your garbage. I know I've worked out. You put out your garbage you're only supposed to put it out on the day 
by or six the, the before, night before. Yeah, the yeah. night before they not pick the it whole up. day before. There's yeah. other guys that leave it out there all day, all yeah. day, and there's other guys that put, you know, the the blue and the green. Yep. They put them both out, even though it's a green day or a blue day. Well, yeah. I thought they picked them both up on the same day. No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. Well, I don't have. Well, it no. I don't have any. It's of every that, other so. week. Every other. The green is every week, and the blue is every other week, which is the recyclables. Correct. How many people recycle? You know, I, I get recycled bins in some of my apartment buildings, and nobody, I, nobody yeah. uses them for recycling. Yeah. They all end up with garbage in. in yeah. Them. You know, and I can I can hand these people letters and letters. Uh, uh, and yeah, but did you ever hear from? Did they you ever hear from the garbage guys that? They, you, no, they just don't pick them up. So we end up emptying the. the the, the recycle bins into the regular green bins. So that ends up on us. No, the recycling bin is the blue container. Okay, fine. They but don't the, empty it. If it's full of garbage, they won't oh, empty yeah. it. Well, a lot of people put a lot of... Well, cardboard's in there. It's packed. And they do pick it up. I mean, that's... A, that's well, a, isn't cardboard recycled? Yes. Okay. Yeah. They you know, that's, they, that's, that's what I always thought. I, You know, you look at your bottles of cans. If they have the recycled, you know, diagram on them, you can put them in there. Yeah. Then they did away with bulky... Uh, bulky pick, waste. That's only once a year now. It used to be twice a year. Uh, did they speak. do it once a year? Did they... Yeah, uh, did, it used to I be I think they got spring. rid of it. I think it's yeah. gone. Huh? I think it's gone. Is it gone completely? Yeah, it's gone completely. I've been putting what that they, stuff... The water has been picked up. I've been putting the stuff out there yeah, for a year. It's still out there, yeah. It's, like, people can't even get by in the cars. Yeah. Well, the, what it is is they open up the dump now for you to bring it and deliver it. you got to pay. No, no. They open it up free service for like a week or two weeks so you can bring it in. No charge for oh. the bulky waste. So in other words, I can clear my street so people can get by. Yeah, you could do that. All right. But, um, and I think that's, a, back then it was a save uh, Will and Manic Waste in the town all the money of having that. Because we used to have to pay Will and Manic Waste well, I, to go I, out and pick it all up. Well, I've learned, you know, it used to be, I, I was I was sort of against Will and Manic Waste bringing in those those containers, you know, the plastic containers. But I have to admit, it is neater than the old, oh, absolutely. The old plastic bags you put out oh, there and so forth. Uh, so was, yes. And then you look at the jobs. You used to have two guys, three guys on a garbage truck. Now yep. you just have the one guy that drives. Yeah. So there's technology for you. Yeah, a lot so. of technology. Now, you know, interesting article the other day about self-checkouts. That even the stores that are using the self-checkouts don't like them because they break down a lot. Uh, it's, uh, they have a lot more theft through a self really? oh, yeah, yeah, theft I can see that. Through a self-checkout versus, the, you know, the regular tellers. I can see that very easily. Right. Ca cashiers, I should say. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, don't, I won't use one because I want to employ people. So I want to, you know, go to a cashier. I want to keep the bagger and the cashier employed, not some machine. No, I like to use it because that frees up more people to march <laughs> and protest. Because a lot of these people do march, they must not have jobs. Uh, well, you know, hey, listen, they they got to be doing something. What they, wait a second, they're getting the free money from Biden. Oh, well, fine, but they, at least they got to do something. You know, all this money they had, they, what they got six hundred dollars a week for how many weeks? Sixteen. Oh, quite weeks? a few, yeah, sixteen, eighteen weeks. You got buddies that did that? Yeah, sure. They picked up like fourteen grand or something during. Oh that yeah, some of, time. of it was pretty. And then you had the uh, uh, the uh, rent rebates here in the state of Connecticut, yeah. and you know I had one person that was, you know, the state ended up paying fifteen thousand dollars for their rent, all their back rent yeah, and stuff. You. you know, and, and that's coming out of the taxpayers. Yeah, pocket. but it's not as bad as having that judge who got paid for two years almost four hundred thousand well, dollars and never no, showed up for no. work. Or it's not as bad as that professor who was dead getting paid for six yes, months. That, that okay. was pretty good. Now, that's what but, Stefanowski should be working but, on. But, but, you know, this goes to show, and you're it, it constantly talking about, the lack of accountability. Yeah, none. You well, know? So when you ask me what laws do you have to follow, if we follow their uh, logic and their accountability, we don't have to follow any of the laws that would affect us. No, we only follow the laws that affect us, but we don't have to follow the laws that affect them. No, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. Yeah, we will. They, they, their laws, they don't follow them because it affects them. Okay. Correct. But we have to follow ours because it doesn't affect them, and well, that's just the way no, it is. They, they want us to follow their laws because they want to keep their thumb on us while they don't follow their own laws. But it's amazing how this power uh, grab goes right from the local to the state. The oh, federal government. Yeah, Amazing. all the way. Yeah. It goes all, through all government. And we have a few courageous guys on the town council. Tony Fantoli. Yes. Okay, he's always yes. been there fighting for the little guy. Yep. Always. James Flores. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you know, James was an activist. Yeah, well, you know, he did, he started some pretty interesting things. Yeah. I don't know the whole. His mother was an activist. I remember talking to James about that. His mother was uh, quite active, but uh, I, and I don't know the details of it. And I don't want to know the details of it, but uh, they put it to him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, they got him. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. I'm I, I, I'm just upset. I'm upset about. I'm upset about the town, the, the, the lack of accountability, the lack of enforcement of the blight thing. Uh, you know, years ago, uh, when Alan and I were doing that TV show, we went out and we filmed the blight in town. Yep. And we showed it on TV. And one of the low pipe points of my TV show is that we filmed it from my car. And it showed the camera, and it was a view through my front windshield. And uh, I got a call. And the call said, well, if you really want to see Blight, you ought to see the inside of that car. <laughs> and I filled it. And it was my daughter. And uh, I couldn't wait to get out of the studio. To and get her out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, know, you used the back seat for the trash can. Everything <laughs> kind of went over your shoulder into the back. Huh? But uh, uh, that's one reason I won't own a pickup truck that's got an extended cab on it. You know, because I don't want to have to, you know, I'd get in the habit of taking the coffee cup and over just, the shoulder. You know, and I don't want to do that. This way it stays right there and it gets emptied. You can throw anything out the window you want because people <clears throat> No, do I don't do that. No, but they don't I won't enforce, throw things they don't out enforce the window. littering? Oh, no, and they should. They should. I, we watch it all the time. How many times could you sit there at a stoplight with a camera, take pictures of people on their cell phones for a $200 fine? Oh. Now, if the fine would go to the town, we'd have our town police force doing that. Okay, but because the fine goes to the state and doesn't come back to the town, the town doesn't do it. Well, that'd be the same with red light cameras, I believe. They, they, kind of, they, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Well, why do ta why do some towns are they're, they're able to enforce the laws that they have to improve the quality of life? Now, I, I mentioned the other day we have in town. You talk about assets. We've got an airport. Yep. We've got a golf course. Yep. Okay. We have rec. Park, Rec Park is a, a good park. They've got the Lauder Park, which is a good thing. We have a skateboard park. We have the uh, paddleball carts, uh, courts over there. We have uh, basketball courts. Uh, we have a lot of nice stuff for the town. Yes. You know, recreation did a good job. Yes, they did. And uh, well, we also now, now we've got a swimming pool over here at the senior slash uh, community yes, center. It's a little bigger than I thought. It's four lanes. But yep. they got, they got it. Now you have a community center. It only costs 13 times more than what they said. Yeah. Well, you know, and if we go back to what we originally started talking about uh, with the Hurley Murray building, uh, you know, the town also uh, said that the uh, people in those buildings would be able to park over in that parking lot for free over there. And, you know, uh, Crosby, 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 yeah, I, I think it was um, Don Niles that said, uh, you know, those are preferred parking spots, especially during uh, special events. Uh, you know, in concerts on the Shabu stage. But, um, you know, now we're providing free parking. I mean, we built a parking garage and it's still free parking. And what are they going to charge there? Well, I have no idea. I don't think they know. But, you know, they're dragged their feet and uh, I would no accountability. Pay. I would not pay to park there. I'd find some other place to park. Well, we didn't need the garage. No, we didn't. That, that was built for the police department. Police and fire. Yep. yep. Absolutely. That's what that was built for. Yep. You know, there is there is not a lot of big business up there. If you knock down the uh, the uh, hooker, you knock down the Hurley Murray over here and made those parking lots with little green spaces, you'd have all the parking you need. And if you could get the cars off of Main Street, well, if the not, traffic would even flow better. Yeah, if you knock them down, I'm telling you, an empty parcel will bring in developers. And well, and not only that, but we could use it. I mean, yeah. look at look at where the Tinson is. That's a parking lot. Yeah. You know, yeah. there are a lot of cars there during the day that would have to be on the street. But they could have that could have been a, uh, the, these uh, small concrete style parking lots. You know, open oh, yeah. open air. But they didn't do it. I left it the yeah. way it is today. But again, uh, they, they've got to. They've really got to do so. How do, again? How do you get other than protesting? Um, they must think we're nuts. I, I don't. They ever listen to the show? What's the audience no, on the show? They do. do. You know what the numbers are? Oh, uh, one, two, three, maybe. three people, and one of them should be Colin, but we know he doesn't listen. You got Larry Kellogg. He's a big listener. Larry's a big listener. Dennis. 
Dennis doesn't listen. Oh, he listens. He does? If the mayor listens. If Tom's listening, I'd like to see Tom get off his butt and do something. Now that you retired, Tom, now the time to become hard. You don't have to worry about anybody canceling a garbage contract with you. Okay? <laughs> get out there and be Hey, listen, be he's tough. the king of garbage. Oh, be tough. Clean this town up. Let that be your legacy. I mean, your brother's building a legacy with the golf course. Well, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm not, I'm not stay out of that. I'm. Well, he's doing a great friend. job. Oh no, he Timmy's, is. Timmy's doing a great and he's, job, and he's happy doing it. Yo, yeah, oh, you talk happy. to him about it, and he's all enthusiastic. Smiles it's every great. time I see him. Smile, up there. Yeah, yep. You know, out there enjoying himself, with the way life is supposed to be. You know, I was talking to Tommy the other day, and I said he ought to retire from politics. And you know, he's got a nice place down the shore. Why? Why isn't he down the shore and enjoying that? He, I think because I think Tom enjoys politics. Huh? Well, I know he enjoys he's, he's politics. A, he's, a, he's a mayor. He loves to glad hand people and so forth. But Tom, you know, you can be effective if you really start to enforce our laws, and uh, it can be done. It just takes leadership. Yeah. You know, and well, you got it, accountability. You got to start. You, you know, you know, Larry, it, it it goes way beyond. There's got to be a big systematic change it's like in washington dc if you th or in hartford if you think our elected officials are doing anything and making laws and and making a difference you're absolutely wrong it's the administration that's been running there since long before a lot of these elected officials got into place that are doing it their way yep. and because they can't be fired and on and on it's their way and we just don't care we won't tell you you know i it's talking to tom he says you know i i asked three different people i get three different answers yeah. even in the, in the town hall you know so yeah so he, he understands there's no accountability but but if you're a person at the top you can bring accountability somebody can bring accountability to well people. Ab absolutely but okay. you know then everybody's pointing a finger in a different direction well, so it happens well, so, so okay so you yeah. fire everybody and start over yeah people have done that oh i know okay. that but it's that's just, usually private enterprise that does that well but it's <laughs> you, i i just get i get depressed thinking about it just like the bureaucracy in washington oh yeah you know, these are the obama holdovers that, uh, well, to, to, to go back to January 6th, you, you want to talk about a waste of taxpayer money, oh. taxpayer time. You know, have has anybody seen any cross-examination no. of any of these It's not witnesses? allowed. It's not allowed. This it's is not a, allowed. No. This is a dog and pony yeah, show absolutely. that's made up. The it's, outcome, it, we already know the outcome. All they wanted is to get rid of Trump. I hope Trump, I hope that Trump announces his candidacy because that would make them now criticize a presidential candidate you know that's like that's a bad precedent like and i hate to be vengeful but if 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 the republicans take over the congress and i've read some stuff that they may not but if they do i hope they impeach biden oh. i hope they impeach schiff well, well you know, i would go after schiff biden i don't know because what are you going to get you're going to get kamala harris i don't care oh I'd come on get, i would go after her too well, i mean i'm well, based well, on you know she, that, only they're both there would be both lame ducks if they yeah. took the house yeah. and the senate they'd be lame ducks they wouldn't be able to pass anything or do anything no well, that's going to be that way that's the way it was when uh, obama was in for yeah but obama years. had the senate and the house at one and they during, didn't for yeah. four years and yeah. he didn't do yeah. anything and Trump had him for two years. Don't forget. Right. Yeah. But anyway, hey, listen, we're out of time. We want to thank you for listening. Next time you can give us a call. So until next week, good night and God bless. So long.